Hi everyone, this is Mukta Sharma. In this video, we are going to discuss about sanity testing, some interview questions around that, and some best practices. Um, I have got a new mic, so I hope the voice is loud and clear now. Also, you can enjoy the background. <laughs> okay, let's get started. Sanity testing in software testing. In this presentation, we will explore the basics of sanity testing. And I will answer the top five common questions, including real-time examples for your understanding. Let's move on to the next slide. What is sanity testing in a nutshell? Sanity testing is performed when a new function is being added. You ensure that the particular new function is working fine. Also, the impacted area is not impacted with the integration changes. Sanity testing is different from smoke testing. And uh, so I have worked with the, some product-based companies as well as some service-based companies. And depending upon my experience, what I can say is um, in some companies, they they use uh, these terms as differently, right? They These are different. Smoke testing and sanity testing are different. So there is a slight difference in both of them. As we go through the presentation, we will try to understand what is the difference, right? Okay. So what are the key features of sanity testing? When the product is little mature, when smoke test passes and you verify that the build is stable, so after that, to continue uh, further testing, you do sanity testing. Sanity can be performed anytime in a project. Mostly sanity testing are not documented. So sanity testing are not documented, basically. It depends upon your experience with the app and it depends upon your skill set. Like, uh, you know, if you are aware of the application functionality, then you uh, check the core functionality in the app and then you show some confidence in the system. Sanity testing is a subset of regression testing. Why are we calling that it is a subset of regression testing? Because in regression testing, you check whether the existing functionality is working fine because of the addition of new changes. If, if some uh, features are removed or added or if environment has changed, then you check the system functionality, right? In sanity, you um, check the core functionality. You check if any, when whenever there is a new feature being added, you check that new feature first, then you check the impacted area. So that is why we call it as a subset of regression testing. Now we have some key features of sanity testing. Focus on critical functionality. Sanity testing focus on testing the specific functionality of a system that are impacted by the change that was made and are critical to the system. For example, developer has uh, created a button somewhere on the page and um, he asked you to test. So first you will test that particular button. Is it appearing in the um, page? Is it working fine? And then you will check the surrounded area. If the impacted area has not been impacted much because of the new addition. So you will focus on those core functionalities. Second key feature is quick and efficient. Sanity testing is quick and efficient because you focus on the core functionality of the application, not on the entire system. Identify known defects. Sanity testing identify known defects that might have been introduced by the change change can be small or big that was made and ensure that the system is stable enough for further testing or for the rigorous testing. Cost and time effective. Sanitary testing saves cost and time as it is done to ensure that system is stable enough for further testing for the rigorous testing. Then we have, when should we perform sanity testing? When should we perform? Sorry, just a second. I think I missed a slide. Let me go back up. Key features are done. Yes. So the heading is a little bit different here. How sanity testing is different from unit testing, how it is different from smoke testing, how it is different from regression testing. Unit testing is done by developers at code level to check the individual functionality or a small piece of code, right? 
sanity testing check the system stability after new addition or changes happen to the system or when any integration changes are happening then uh, on a high level you do the sanity testing regression testing i have discussed with you already just two slides before and then we have smoke testing this is a main question that is being asked in the interviews what are the differences between smoke testing and sanity testing Smoke testing is a type of testing which validate the build stability. You either accept the build or you reject the build depending upon the result of your smoke testing. Whereas sanity testing on the other hand is a type of software testing that is done to check if the system is stable enough for further testing. If the system is stable enough for regress testing. This is done after smoke testing. In sanity testing you do not reject the build. Then we have uh, three examples in real time. What are the three examples of sanity testing in real time? Or when should we do it, right? When should we do it? When we have tight deadlines, when time is limited and extensive testing is not possible, then you can quickly check the core functionalities and you can get the confidence in the system. That is sanity testing. Sanity testing is performed after significant changes are made to the software or the application release. So whenever any major functionality changes happen, then you do sanity test. Major releases happen, then also you do sanity test. Whenever there is a major release happening, so before that, you can check the core functionality in the application and you can um, do the sanity testing. Let's move on to the next slide. What are the benefits of sanity testing? So this is, I have written down based on uh, the, my understanding. In the previous video, we have discussed about smoke testing. So you can, you know, based upon your own understanding about smoke testing, what we have discussed so far, you can identify some more benefits if you can. As of now, I have written three. One is speed, one is cost effective, and third is test coverage. Speed, compared to other form of testing, this testing is quicker. Second, because only the core functionalities are being tested, so it saves some money. Test coverage, it provides decent test coverage because you are um, checking the core functionality and going into deep of the testing. Right? You are not doing extensive testing here. Conclusion and summary. Conclusion, sanity testing is a critical form of software testing that saves your money and time, prevent some known defects, and gives you decent test coverage. It is a superhero of the testing world, we can say. With that, a quick recap. In the initial slide, we discussed what is sanity testing, what are the key features of sanity testing, how it is different from other type of testing, like how it is different from smoke testing, how it is different from unit and regression testing. Then we saw what are the advantages of sanity testing from real-time perspective. So I hope um, your doubts on sanity testing is clear. In interview, if they ask you what is sanity testing, you can explain in the same way. If they ask you what are the differences between smoke testing and sanity testing, then you can say, just to quickly um, reiterate, you can say smoke testing is done to verify that the build is stable or not, to very validate the build stability. But in uh, sanity testing, uh, sanity testing you do after the build verification is done. Smoke test cases are documented most of the time. Sanity test cases are not documented. Smoke test cases can be automated. But sanity, because we do not document it, so we do not uh, automate also. Uh, but both of the uh, testing saves your time and both are cost effective, right? So I hope, uh, I really hope this video is helpful to you. If it is, please give a like and comment and also let me know if the voice is clear. I'll be, I will be waiting for your comment. Bye.